Next on Jonathan Bird's Blue World, a dive in Maine with Diver Ed and a close call with a lobster. Hi, I'm Jonathan Bird, and welcome to my world. Today I'm in beautiful Bar Harbor, Maine, where I'm spending the day with my friend Diver Ed and his amazing dive-in theater program aboard the Starfish Enterprise. See if it grabs a hold of your head here. Ah, ah. Man, look at all the hair to pull out of my head. Diver Ed takes families out on his boat up in Bar Harbor every summer for an underwater adventure where nobody has to get wet, except him. I'm Diver Ed, you've already met my lovely wife, Captain Evil, right over here. Ed's wife, Edna, is known as Captain Evil, although I don't really know why. She seemed perfectly nice to me. She's part of the show, and so are the family dogs. Stick it on over your head. If you have big floppy ears, you can pull those through like that. The strap on the side goes around your back. On the end of the strap is a clip. You just clip it to the ring in the front and then pull on the free end to tighten it. Everyone give them a hand. Good job, Levi. Way to go. And members of the audience get deputized too. What's your name? <laughs> Noah? Noah, you're my head passenger in charge of the toilet today, Noah. Noah, the toilet boy. Everybody this is mini ed number 124. Diver Ed always takes a dive buddy with him because it's dangerous to dive alone. And since I'm joining the dive today, they get a dive buddy for me too. This is mini Jonathan and um, he's got four spins on. He will be diving today and he is going to be filming the expedition down there so he's ready to go. We're not in the tropics up in Maine. The water temperature today is only 50 degrees. A lot of stuff for cold water. Diver Ed and I get a little help jumping into the water. Once we're underwater, Diver Ed wastes no time. He madly swims around collecting creatures to bring back on board for the passengers to examine and touch. I can barely keep up with his frantic pace. When he has collected enough specimens, he heads back to the surface to get his specially equipped high-definition underwater camera to take people on a real-time underwater adventure. The lights bring the ocean bottom alive for his passengers back on the boat. They found a sea cucumber. This is a relative of starfish, and starfish have five rows of suction cup feet. As Diver Ed and Mini Ed check out a sea cucumber, Captain Evil gives the audience a lesson. So there's the mouth, and you can see that it looks just a lot like the butt. It's pretty hard to be an animal where your mouth looks just like your butt, but that's the way it is for sea cucumbers, boing. Diver Ed and his camera find the most amazing creatures right under the boat. He is very, very cute, Diver Ed. Look, he's got a little spike on his head. <laughs> he's adorable. So all that stuff, he sticks on. Oh, all right, you're so cute. I know, he's looking right at us. Look at his little grumpy mouth. <laughs> oh, man. As Diver Ed and I continue across the bottom, he shows the audience all kinds of amazing animals that live in the cold water of the North Atlantic, while Edna narrates from above. This is a baby sea scallop. Look at those eyes. All those black dots look like poppy seeds are eyes. Scallops have two rows of eyes rimming each shell. Nobody really knows why, so you guys should go to college and become marine biologists and tell me why, because I want to know. This is a baby. In between sea stars, sculpins, and other cool critters, Diver Ed and I have some fun goofing around. Hey, you found something else down here. What's this? <laughs> this is Jonathan Bird. How cool. <laughs> Not quite sure what he's saying. <laughs> it's 
probably good to breathe. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mini Ed has found himself a mysterious looking shell. That's not just a shell, it's a hermit crab. Now you can see a hermit crab has two different sized claws. They're actually more closely related to a lobster than a crab. And there's his eyes. Boy, here he comes, Diver Ed. He's peeking out, he just has to know. Diver Ed, what a nice shot. What a cute shrimp this is. And then Ed finds an angry lobster. He's beautiful, but he doesn't look friendly. Oh, yikes. As I said, I don't know why we have to keep getting new cameras. There he goes, Diver Ed. Something's gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Diver Ed, you need help and you need it now. His buddy is going to have to come over. Oh no, Diver Ed, Minnie Ed needs help now. He's in big trouble. Oh man, Diver Ed, you got to do something. He's being used as a battering ram. After his escape from the lobster, poor Minnie Ed stumbles into the clutches of a stinging anemone. Diver Ed, can you do anything? I don't think he can move. Oh, I can't believe he did that. We tell them not to do this. All right, Minnie Ed's heart stopped. He now needs CPR. Two rescue breaths, a couple chest compressions. Fortunately, Eddie is certified in CPR. <laughs> this is a really good reason why you should always go with a dive buddy in case you need underwater CPR. <laughs> Diver Ed, thank goodness for that. So it worked. <laughs> good use of the buddy system. I'm glad you were there for him. Minnie Jonathan, meanwhile, is so busy filming, he's not paying attention. And whoa, buddy, look out from behind. <laughs> Fortunately, I come to the rescue, and Mini Jonathan is going to be okay. <laughs> the dive is so exhilarating that Diver Ed and I are pretty pumped when we surface. I mean, really pumped. I mean, pumped up. <laughs> I'm gonna be a starfish. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately for Lindsay the clam, it's feeding time for me, Eddie the starfish. If I wanted to eat Lindsay the clam, I'd grab hold of those two shells in my arms with a suction cup feet hold on really tight. Then I'd spread those shells as far apart as possible, eject my stomach out of my mouth. Ready? <laughs> Stick it down between the two shells, suck all of her guts into my stomach. <laughs> Once my stomach's full, I suck it back into my mouth. <laughs> You've got some great tasting guts, Lindsay. Everyone give her a hand. Good job, Lindsay. Way to go. Way to get rid of your guts. This is a sea scallop. A lot of people want to know what I do for a living in the winter time. I dive for. Ah! Oh, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Did you? Everyone knows what this is. Lobster. Lobster. Lobster have two types of claws. The bigger one is used for crushing things. What kind of claw is that? Crusher claw. Good. What about the smaller one? Pinches things. Pinches and ripping. Pincher claw. claw. Good. Let's see if it pinches one. Do 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 do. Come here, lobster. See if you can get me. If it's clear, that's just salt water. Any idea what it's gonna be doing if it starts to turn brown? It's going poopy. That's the butt end of the sea cucumber. They really tighten up their muscles and make themselves hard and round. Not only that, but they secrete a wonderful mucus. Uh, that makes them really slippery. Now, if anyone ever asked you, Rebecca, if you learned anything on this trip today, what are you gonna say, yes or no? Did you learn anything? Yeah. Okay, good. Yes is the correct answer. After the show, everyone gets to examine the specimens and even hold them before Diver Ed returns them to the ocean unharmed. Eventually, it's time to head back. 
My dive buddy Minnie Jonathan and I will never forget this day aboard the Starfish Enterprise. Thank you.